Dr. S. B. Das Chakraborty, Consultant Gastroenterologist, Hepatologist and Interventional Endoscopist, Ruby General Hospital. Today, I am discussing gastroparesis. The gastroparesis means this paresis of stomach. In this disease, the stomach movement gets slow, so that the food content <coughs> persistent in the stomach for a long time. And the patient suffering from the gastroparesis usually presented with abdominal fullness, bloating sensation, indigestion, nausea, occasional reflux, and occasional vomiting. The gastroparesis is caused by multiple comorbid condition, drug, and some unknown factor. The most commonly caused by diabetes, some neurological disorder like Parkinson disease, multiple sclerosis, some autoimmune disorder affecting intestinal and nervous system, or caused by some drug, particularly neurological drug. And in some cases, we are not able to find definite cause that are diagnosed as an idiopathy. And the patient, the suffering from this disorder, usually investigated by some investigations that includes endoscopy, routine ultrasound, sometimes we do in CT scan to look for any organic obstruction, gastric empty scintigraphy or electrogastrography. The treatment of gastroparesis mainly consisted of control of the comorbid condition like in diabetes control, neurological disease control, avoidance of the drug that causes gastroparesis and the mainstay of treatment is some lifestyle modification if the patient is obese need to lose weight, the sub avoidance of the fatty food most of the time and prokinetic drugs. The prokinetic drugs are the drug that increases the movement of the stomach and intestine. That includes metoclopramide, etopride, sisapride, this group of drugs. 